I think about the journal as being a home for everyone who's invested and interested in human genetics research. And there's been a long history of connecting you know, your DNA to a trait, a disease, a common trait such as height, a complex disease such as heart disease, or an inherited disease. As we move forward, what do we do with that knowledge? Can we help and improve outcomes in the health arena? Uh, can we find out new things about our history that were not possible before we could sequence ancient genomes? There's so many things that we're all interested in that touch upon human genetics, and we'd really like at the journal to capture all of that so that we continue to have a pulse on everything that's going on in human genetics research, and that it's a home for everyone um, in ASHG. The first and foremost benefit is it's a way to showcase your work to colleagues around the world. The journal has um, a nearly 70-year history of um, being a go-to place for cutting-edge research in human genetics, and so this is, this is your platform that um, we really would um, hope that people would see that you know, it, it really should be reflecting the interests of the society. We love that geneticists are so passionate about their work, and one thing that we hope that AJHG can be is a place where geneticists can express those and communicate their interests um, in all kinds of ways. So I think what we're exploring in the Cover Our Contest is a way that they can funnel that passion that they may have, and usually is sent to us in the form of research papers, but to direct that creativity into um, a picture instead. Um, and we're really excited and interested in seeing what kind of creative um, things they end up sending to us. The webinars are another way that we're um, trying to put out AGHG work and the, and the types of things that we're interested in to a broader audience. Um, so it's one benefit that authors can also have is that um, we are projecting this work in different ways. So these webinars cover areas that are of interest to the journal and interest to ASHG members. Um, and can also be accessed at a later point in time. So if you're not available to see it um, during the actual time of the webinar, you can log on and see it later. We are committed to making everything in the journal open to the whole the world. Six months after publication, we also recognize that there are many funding bodies that would like to that you know mandate and would like to see research available immediately. We comply with all of those funding body agreements and. The individual authors also have the option for media open access. We're open to and we recognize the value of preprint servers. So put your paper, your preprint on BioArchive, receive your feedback from your colleagues. And what we can do at the journal is help with the peer review, publish something that looks attractive. We'll help you publicize your work and we, we view ourselves as partners in your research. Our focus is looking forward, you know, where is the field going, not so much where has it been. And although the journal's, you know, been a part of the history of human genetics now for many decades, what we're most excited about is a future and helping the members of the society and uh, members of the human genetics community showcase their best work and um, help to build that future. ASHG TV is brought to you by the American Society for Human Genetics annual meeting in San Diego. For more videos like this, click on the links and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.